Om Shanti. Namaste. Recently I did a promo on a young man at the cremation site. I want to follow up to that. There is a lady standing next to me in the same cremation ground that is asking for help. She used to call her family or they used to call her mama because she's calling me mama. She says, mama, I don't want anything. She has white hair. She's coming through in white hair, beautiful colored eyes, chubby cheeks, and very short. She says, I used to plant, I used to plant garden. I used to cut cane. The reason I'm using my hands is because she's right here showing me. Unfortunately, you cannot see with the naked eye. It's very difficult to see with the naked eye. But if you can sense it and you can stand up and just close your eyes, let go of the negativity. This woman is saying that to me. She was a very prayerful person, very loving and very kind. And she always gave, always gave, never wanting anything in return. She's calling me mama. And she's saying, mama, tell them for me, please. Tell them for me that I don't want anything. We don't want anything. But when we cross, we don't get anything. All we get is the good deeds and the good thoughts that we have. Do you believe me? I am feeling to cry because the soul is crying. She's saying, Mama, please warn them and tell them to wake up. Life is much more beautiful on the outside. If you want, if you look at it, if you look at it from the outside, beautiful on the outside, then it will be beautiful on the inside. She says, don't waste your life crying for others. She says, don't waste your life grieving and wishing that you had what you wanted. It's not what you wanted. She says, Mama, it's what you needed. The soul is standing right here. She was this high and she's touching her face. Do you recognize that soul? Do you know, do you know anyone like that? Maybe an aunt, maybe a grandmother, maybe your own mother. Wouldn't you like to see your mother happy? Souls do exist. Do they exist in the cremation grounds? Do they exist in the cemetery? Yes, they do. But they don't ask for anything. We will one day discuss the supernatural. What happens to soul that doesn't cross well? Why they didn't go into the light? Why they couldn't find that God that they've been searching for? It's sometimes because of us, we keep the souls back by grieving for them, by holding on to things that belong to them. We need to let go. We need to let go. It's very, very important to let go. She is saying, I am not a ghost, but I had to come to tell you this story. While coming down here, I was picking up on Durga Mata. She had to show, show me, to show us the reason for us being on this planet. Remember, heaven and hell belongs right here. But we have to make effort for heaven within us. The kingdom of God resides within us. How can we know any different? How can we behave as if the kingdom of God is on the outside? How can we behave like animals? Have you ever seen an animal, two animals together? They have better understanding than most humans. This little old lady that passed a while, she said seven years ago, is saying, we have that within us. Let us awaken it. This is our first video on the supernatural. Here in Trinidad and Tobago, we will be bringing you more. Look out for more videos on YouTube, on the Red Chariot Foundation, Anil Bhagwat Saran, and Sister Devi. We look forward to hearing from you. If you want to know about something on the supernatural and you're not too sure, please, please send us a message. We would love to hear from you because that is our mission, to awaken you. Om Shanti, and that love is spreading amongst you from my little old lady's friend and myself to you with lots of love. Om Shanti Namaste.